So what's up? I'm headed to uh, Pakara, Nepal right now. We're gonna go check out some natural scenery and stuff. And we've been on this long road trip, this super long journey, right? And we're out here, man. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see those hills, mountains in the background, but it just goes on and on. It's cliffside too. So right now we're at this like rest stop and they got all this food we can pick from. But that's calling my name, Samosa's right there. Probably gonna get some water, just a little something. But yeah, got snacks and drinks too. And some more options down there. And right there is a bathroom for people traveling around. And this is a cool environment. Just checking this out and everything i really love the scenery out here i need to wake up so i'm getting a red bull here's a samosa oh yeah my driver finished already but yeah oh. bro my driver is crazy he's doing this uh this three hour tre trek to pokora um and it feels longer because of the traffic and construction and he has to come all the way back to drop me off this guy is a real mvp like kudos to him i don't know how he does it especially with the driving conditions out here there's so much overtaken and whatnot yeah i don't even know what this river is called but it's been going on for a hot minute I love to roll down the windows and get you guys a better view, but all this dust and smog is being kicked up, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I finally got to my hotel room and uh, Pokhara, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't think I got anything else left on the agenda for today, so I'm just gonna lay down, excuse me, lay down for a bit and assess from there, maybe check out some things nearby, but yeah. Anyway, you have got to look at this hotel room. Look at this. Definitely way nicer than the place I was just at. But look out here. This is Pokhara. We got another hotel over there. It's a street. So right over there, you got this lake. I forget the name of it, but look at those hills that go with it. Very nice. Alright, so yeah, I'm here in Pakara and honestly, it's a much better vibe than Kathmandu so far. Like, it just feels more open, less congested, and a little more real. Like, I like the greenery that's there, but yeah, I'm about to try out this restaurant because it looks pretty good. But, yeah. So here we got this other tour group, but check this out. Look at this view. And right down there is one of the rivers we passed on the way driving here. And check out this mountain range or what you can see of it. Um, I don't think we'll be seeing it, but I do like this view from way up here. It's way up above the clouds.
All right, so yeah, it was too cl cloudy to catch the sunrise. So we're gonna visit this Hindu temple and um, see what's up with it. Cause um, it looks like a significant site. All right, so we're climbing up this staircase. But yeah, my tour guide says uh, not many foreigners come here, mostly Indian people and uh, Nepali people who are Hindu. this road So I lost my mosquito spray and I'm gonna need that before I go to Chitawan tomorrow, which is more subtropical-ish down there. Just more humid, more jungle-ish. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need that for the mosquitoes. And um, maybe just grab a quick bite to eat before the day ends. And just check around more of uh, Pokhara, the lakeside at least. first but I got some chicken haka noodles and they're pretty good I'm just waiting on a mango lessi right now but here check out the interior of this restaurant 
Probably you can't really see, but they got a nice balcony out there. So I'll show you in a bit. Man, with the Hakka noodles, I got the non bread and the mango lessi. I am feasting for tonight. My time here in uh, Pakora has been short-lived and not only that but so have my activities as you can see it is flooding but yeah I mean I also think it's the start of monsoon season over here in South Asia so that probably has something to do with it too but yeah I mean still I enjoyed uh, all these uh, experiences I got to experience here because you see I just can't do this in the Western world so it's a pretty cool feeling. You know, I'm grateful for what I had to begin with, or at the end of the day, more like it. <laughs> 